So, what's going on inside that defiled bottle of non-branded cola? Well, do you even know what cola actually is? Check out what it says on the side of a bottle or can. It's a caffeinated, flavoured and carbonated vegetable extract drink. But what gives cola its special twang? It's probably phosphoric acid, a food additive, E338, used to make things more, well, acidy. It makes stuff taste tangy. It's a good source of nutrients though, it's used in crop fertiliser too. It's that acid in the cola that's changing how the calcium carrying protein in the milk behaves. That stuff at the bottom is essentially curdled milk. Milk is a bunch of fat, protein and sugar all drifting around in the water. The main protein is casein. Casein binds to the calcium in the water. It's how we get our calcium through drinking milk. Without casein, the calcium wouldn't be soluble. These special balls of casein drift around in the liquid like flakes in a snow globe. It's what makes milk white. When the acid content of the water increases, say hungry bacteria eat the delicious sugary lactose in the milk, they create a stinky lactic acid as a byproduct. This new pH level allows the casein to start to clump. And once it's clumpy, it's denser than the water and falls to the bottom of the bottle. This clotting and clumping property of casein is pretty useful actually, because it clots in the stomach due to the acids present there. The clot can stay there longer, the proteins being slowly digested. That's why vegetarians love their cheeses, and why baby mammals have an enzyme to help proteins from their mother's milk to clot in their tummies. And why humans extract that enzyme from calves' tummies to make cheeses. So, where's that beautiful brown colour gone? Well, that's caramel colour. Because the pH has changed in the milk with the added cola, the caramel behaves differently, just like the casein does. It binds to the clumps of protein and ends up at the bottom too. Essentially, think of the caramel colour and the casein as hyperactive kids, and the acid the teacher entering the classroom. The kids behave differently in the presence of the teacher, and then everyone eats some cheese or something. A lot of explanations online for this take a simpler route, saying it's the phosphoric acid simply binding to the calcium. Well, that's probably happening too, but it's missing out the fact that all that protein is the white stuff in the milk that you're seeing drop to the bottom of the bottle. There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up. <coughs> Just a tiny bit clumpy. Uh, uh, it's got certain uh, tangy notes to it still. And um, yeah, very lumpy from these, what I presume are bits of calcium and um, bits of protein floating around. But overall, not too bad. <laughs>